What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward Blind. In the last episode, we got the Clover ending. Yes, we got the, the Clover ending all the way down here, and we unlocked a couple different things. So we have a few options. However, I think what I wanted to do first was check out this other branch here. What if we choose Betray in this AB game? It's certainly a bad end. Granted, Clover's ending, albeit a true ending, I guess, uh, was certainly not an ideal ending. But I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing whatever goes on here. Oh, that's right. This is Clover going back on her word and basically being like, you know what, I, th I think I would actually be okay with allying and, you know, choosing trust to, to trust them and all that jazz. But nope, we are going to pick Betray this time around and probably get significantly punished for it. Because <clears throat> that's what we come to Virtue's Last Reward for, right? Just to get gut punched all the time. What did you choose, Sigma? You didn't see me push the button? No. Huh. Well, you'll know in a moment. What you want to do after that is up to you. You can come with me if you want, or you can stay here. Your choice. That's as good as saying you chose Betray. <laughs> Smug Sigma. I grinned and headed toward the display. Also, apologies if people are kind of loud outside. So, here are the results from round two. Let's see if anybody else is different, right? Are we going to be escaping alone or with other people or whatever? Okay, double betray as before, double ally, I think as before, but betray and ally. So now Sigma and Clover are going to live happily ever after. Sigma finally has achieved his goal. He is, <laughs> by default, paired with part or Clover due to being the only people remaining on Earth or something like that. Anyways, let's see how the group reacts. I don't think they'll be too happy about it. What did you do, Clover? S sorry It wasn't me. Sigma, huh? Yeah. Care to explain this, then? What's there to explain? It's exactly what it looks like. I'm getting out of here. What? Are you going with him, Clover? I... I... Interesting. I wonder what, I wonder what Clover's gonna pick. Of course. I mean, she's gotta go, right? Realistically speaking, in all the ones where she does leave, she's basically feigns, oh yeah, I need to, I'm gonna go try and get help and then save you guys, right? But knowing that she's faced with her own potential death, she might as well go, right? When they all turned to look at Clover, I made my move. My feet pounded across the metal floor of the warehouse as I ran for the number nine door. Hey, wait! You'd have to do better than shout if you wanted to stop me. It was closer. I was almost there. I took one last running leap and slammed into the wall, the unlocking device right in front of me. With a yell of triumph, I threw the lever down. Better not get caught in the few seconds it takes for the number 9 door to open, right? So you can actually get through it. The door began to open. A heavy metallic grinding noise filled the room. Crap. That Baka actually did it? His voice sounded almost surprised. I turned to face him. Sorry. <laughs> I can imagine. Have you guys, you've probably seen the gif of the animated uh, Super Mario World where it's like Mario is riding on Yoshi, he makes a jump and he's like not able to make it all the way so he jumps off of Yoshi and leaves Yoshi behind and Yoshi's like crying <clears throat> and Mario like turns around and is like flipping off Yoshi as he succeeds in making it across the platform. That's how I imagine Sigma right now. If somebody knows what I'm talking about, please link it in the comments or something or in the Discord. Sorry, but it looks like this is goodbye. Sigma. Sigma. Don't worry. I'll go to the police as soon as I get out, and come back with help. I'm not going to just leave you all here to die. 
Don't give me that. I know a liar when I see one. Yeah, it takes one. Really? Maybe you should get your eyes checked. Are you guys just going to let him run off like this? No way. I can't allow that. He took advantage of a sick kid. He's just a coward. Agreed. I mean, not like any of you would do that, right? I also agree. Alright, K. That's it, then. Let's get him. While they've been, you know, chatting quite a bit, I feel like there's enough time for Sigma to have already escaped. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> He's toast. Just leave it to us. Hey, now. Don't do anything you'll regret. This door only opens once, you know. If you stop me, then... Give it up. Charge! Uh-oh. Crap. I spun back around to face the door. There it was, right in front of me. Freedom. I leapt for it. Or at least I tried. Naturally. When Sigma tries to go through the door, everybody's like, Wait! Stop them! And runs after, jumps onto him, tackles him, hits him, knocks him out with some gas, whatever it takes to stop Sigma. But as soon as somebody else tries to open the door, everybody's like, Oh, dang. This is really sad. I think we're all gonna die now. And just lets them go. <laughs> it's kind of annoying, but... It happened in the blink of an eye. Suddenly my cheek was being pressed against the cold steel floor of the warehouse. The number nine door has been opened. Crap. Let me go. Let go of me, darn it. I could feel something huge, heavy and metal pressed against my back. Of course it's K. K, oh, K has a thing out for, for Sigma, right? K only stops Sigma from going through the number nine door. Nobody else. K had to be holding me down. I flailed and kicked, but it didn't do any good. What are you doing? You're just killing yourselves. The door only opens once. If I don't... I know. Go, Clover. Huh? You're the only one of us with 9 BP. Nobody else can get out. But... This is an order from your commanding officer. You are to escape from this facility. Once you've accomplished that, call for help. That's... I mean... While Sigma's scummy, if you want Clover to have a higher success rate, I'd imagine you'd want her to have an ally. Stop complaining and go. If that door closes, it's all over. None of us will get out of here alive. Leave. The door had already begun to close. The space was narrowing quickly, but was still wide enough for a single person to make it through. Naturally. Fine. You didn't leave me much choice. I couldn't see what had happened, but I heard enough to guess. Alice had shoved Clover through the door. Looking up, I could see Clover's feet just beyond the doorway. Alice! Go! Call for help! I'm counting on you! Alice! Pretty dramatic ending. Though I am a little bit frustrated that everybody attacks Sigma, but nobody else. Alright, number nine doors closed. You all died. Enjoy whatever life you have left. You know, the usual. Now we're just waiting for that sweet, sweet game over screen. And there it is. Alright, good work, guys. What an ending. <laughs> Not that I'm surprised or anything. <laughs> Alright, return to the flowchart we have. And now we have a couple options. We can go all the way to the left and explore this timeline where we chose... Was it the, the magenta door? Right? And then we chose the blue door. And then continued onward here. How can Fine K be saved? 
I think we'll go with that one for now. This one on the right looks a lot more complex for the time being. So let's see what we can garner from this initial part. So in the first AB game, or the first chromatic door, we choose magenta, which is the lounge. I remember talking about the, the moon and that sort of thing in there. Then we escape and we go to the first AB game. We chose to betray. Then we go into the red chromatic door, which is the pantry, full of puns, making fun of Clover, lovely. And then we go into the second AB game and, oh, wait, no, that was the wrong one. So in the first AB game, we chose ally, and that takes us into the second set of chromatic doors. We go into the rec room, I believe. Wait, we go into the rec room? Okay, so we go into the rec room and that is where we are with K and somebody else, Tenyoji maybe? I think, but then we get to the second AB game, and if we choose ally, K escapes. But if we choose betray, something goes on in warehouse B. How can Phi and K be saved? I don't remember what they're being saved from again, but um, only one way to find out, right? So we've been to the lounge and the rec room. Crap. They're not here. Maybe they did go through the door, like Kay said. With Quark's bracelet? Or... or what? Oh, come on, man. Better not give me that maybe they're already dead crap. I got enough of it from Dio. You've got to be kidding me. This isn't funny, Fi. If you're right, then you, K, Quark, and I are the only people still alive in here. That's right, so Quark had gone missing. Everybody else is dead. How did they die? I don't remember exactly. I think in this timeline, Alice potentially kills herself or is killed by Dio. Oh, and then is it is this the one where we find Dio and Temyoji both kind of locked up in the infirmary? I don't remember exactly, but I, I think... Luna, yeah, Luna's dead in the same room as Alice, and then I think Temyoji and Clover are handcuffed and dead in the infirmary, and we don't know where Kay is, and we haven't found Quark either. Hey, lay off. I want to believe they're alive too, but we heard a noise and turned. I apologize for keeping you. Did you get Dio's bracelet? Well, oh, how did Dio die? Is Dio dead in the uh, treatment pod this time around? Technically, yes, but... Oh, it's broken, right? Best you just see it. This is what I found in Dio's pod. What? What the heck? I assume whoever murdered Dio did this. Now I'm running through my head, right? What information do we have that allows us to get past this block, right? Because K and Phi needed Dio's bracelet to get through the chromatic door. How can they get around needing Dio's bracelet? Obviously we have the information, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to unlock this timeline. But I don't remember off the top of my head. But why? There's no point. I can't say for sure. But if I were to guess... Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain. With the bracelet like this, I doubt we can get past the secondary door. That means K and I will... I guess the only thing I can think of is if we try to get both K and Phi's bracelets off. 
Um, with five, I mean, we could throw her in the treatment pod, right? Cryostasis, freeze her heart, bracelet comes off, and then wake her up. Granted, this all taking place within five minutes would be fairly unrealistic. I feel like there was a discussion, though, that that might not be able to work for Kay. Oh, no. Crap. You're, you're gonna... Yep. I see. That's what they wanted. Whoever killed Dio wanted to use the game to kill me and Kay. Part of the question is... Well, is whoever killed Dio then still alive? And if that person wanted to kill Kay and Phi, it must be Quark, right? Unless it was somebody who had already died, right? And they're just completely separate events. Somebody killed Dio and broke the bracelet out of spite for Kay and Phi, but then they were killed by some other murderer who is one of the four of us, right? Anyways, that's why they broke the bracelet. I think so. It makes the most sense. How can you be so calm? In five minutes, you're gonna be... be... Sigma. Go on ahead, Sigma. You have those bracelets K gave you, right? You should be able to get through the secondary door with those. So just... Screw that! You know I can't just ditch you guys like that. But if you stay here, you'll... Think I don't know that? <clears throat> but what kind of a monster am I if I just leave you here to die? Ugh. Darn it. This was bad. What was I going to do? I needed to calm down. Just calm down. Calm down and think. There had to be a way to save them. Hmm. I don't remember. There had, we clearly experienced it in a recent timeline, but I don't remember entirely. It's the old lady, bracelet, everything going on with Quark. Oh, so it was in that timeline where, um, the Clover end. Are they really gonna say that we can use the Neo Stigme? I thought we only had one use of that. <clears throat> So they talk about the needles injection. Oh, interesting. So I thought the neostigmine was only going to be a one-time thing for one person. Yeah. So they mentioned the neostigmine can be used for the tubocurine. The question is, where was it again? Ah, it's on Dio's body. <clears throat> Sorry. Huh. Yeah, I thought that was just a one-time use. Not that, I mean, it's that imperative that we know exactly what it is so long as we've unlocked it from the other timeline, right? But, of course, the antidote. The antidote? I didn't have time to explain. I took off running toward the exit. Go, Sigma, go! You can do it! <clears throat> Sigma! Where are you going? Stay here. I'll be right back. I bolted out of the warehouse toward the treatment room. I don't remember when he mentioned that he had the Neostigmine in, in this timeline. I think it was kind of early though, wasn't it? And I think Dio put it in his pocket. Come on, come on, come on. Please still have it. Sweat was pouring down my face. But I didn't bother to wipe it off. There wasn't time. I dug frantically through Dio's coat until... Aha! Found it! Oh. There's only one dose. The injection gun uses the whole bottle at once. Okay. Alright, so I didn't misremember that. So I guess it means that they can only save either K or Phi, right? Crap. I can't save both of them. Oh, are we gonna have another big branching point based on who we save? That's crazy. One minute remains. 
We gotta run. One minute? Crap. Yeah, you better sprint, man. I spun around and shot out of the treatment center. Three, two, one. That is way too late. Chromatic door is closing. No. You gotta be kidding me. Oh dear. Sigma. There was a sharp, quick pain in my wrist, barely even noticeable. I couldn't feel anything flowing into my veins, but I knew it was there. First would be the anesthetic soparil. I blinked and my vision started to blur. When I tried to think, it felt like my mind had been stuffed with cotton. My legs began to wobble, then gave out entirely as I crumpled to the floor. No. I couldn't fall asleep. I had to give one of them the antidote before my bracelet injected me with tubocurarine. With every ounce of strength I could muster, I forced my eyes back open. Wow, this is pretty dramatic. K and Phi lay limp on the floor in front of me. In my right hand, I could feel the injector gun, with its precious cargo. I could only pull the trigger once. Who was I going to choose? Phi or K? No, what was I thinking? There was only one answer. Phi. I didn't even have a choice. After all, K's entire body was covered in impenetrable metal. I'm sorry, K. I summoned up as much energy as I could and dragged myself toward Phi. What's interesting is, how is this timeline going to, you know, propagate after we inject Phi? Because we're going to inject Phi and then die, right? <laughs> I can't think of a way that Sigma gets out of this alive. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm wondering how the timeline is going to progress after so Sigma presumably dies. After what felt like an eternity, I was finally within arm's reach. With no time to waste, I pressed the gun to her arm and pulled the trigger. Sigma! What the heck did you... I injected you with Neostigmine. It's a type of cholinesterase inhibitor. What a thing to explain when people are near death. It's the antidote to the muscle relaxant. Just say it's an antidote. Why did you pick me? Because I can't use the injection gun on Kay. It'd never get through the metal. Then... Why didn't you... Inject yourself? Huh. Guess you've got a point. Honestly, didn't even cross my mind. You are... The biggest idiot on the planet. Hey, come on! Is that any kind of thing to say to somebody who's about to die? How about something more tender? No. Screw this. I don't want to live if it means being in debt to you. No darn way. I'm not gonna... Her words slurred and slowed, and her eyes fluttered closed. She wasn't dead, of course. I could hear the faint sound of her breathing, and see her chest rise and fall. Good. Thai's gonna be alright. But Kay... I looked over in his direction. That was when I noticed it. Open? There's a hole here on the back of your head. Yeah, it looks like you insert something. Interesting. So the the switch has been turned to open. So the key, which I think was obtained in the Golem Bay, we did not go there this time around. Maybe this is the one where somebody, presumably, possibly Dio, snagged it. Maybe this is that timeline. But then used it, but did it in such a way that they didn't actually take off the mask? It says open, so maybe you put some kind of key in there. 
Why was that done? Right? How did somebody get behind K and turn it to open? And then did they have a moment where K revealed who they were to whatever person this is? I don't know. Wait. Then he... But when could he have... It's empty. Yes. Was there something in there before? No, it was empty when I found it. Interesting, but what if he had lied? Yeah, we know he found it in there then, I guess. Could Kate have taken the key? Then the question, though, also is, if he found the key and was able to turn it to open, why did he open it without taking off the armor? He probably learned who he was, but then figured for whatever reason it was best to conceal his identity. But didn't think to turn it back to close? Hmm. I'm a little bit confused by this process. How he'd gotten it didn't really matter anymore. What did matter was that Kay had been able to remove his armor. And he had. Interesting. One thing to consider is that maybe Kay removed his armor and set it up in such a way that it looked like he was asleep in the lounge when he was really somewhere else. Holy crap! Then that would mean Dio's killer is... I coaxed as much strength as I could from my increasingly lethargic body and crawled toward Kay. Kay, wake up! <clears throat> Come on, talk to me! I grabbed his shoulder and shook him until he finally shifted and spoke. Sigma, I just need to know one thing. Did you kill Dio? You weren't sleeping, were you? After I left, you took off your armor. You didn't want to go the same way I had, so you took the other door. After you went the long way around, through the warehouse, and the crew quarters, you headed for the elevator. But I'm so curious, still. If K killed Dio, why crush the bracelet? Right? Because crushing the bracelet dooms himself. The only thing I can think of is that Dio was killed by K, but in the process and realizing he was going to die, Dio sabotaged K back by crushing the bracelet. I bumped into Phi, and we went back to the lounge to check on you. We saw you. Or we saw your armor, I guess. By then you would have been out of it. While we were in the lounge, you went to the treatment room and killed Dio. You must have turned off the oxygen to his pod, although you probably didn't stick around to make sure he died. I'm betting you were in a hurry to get back before Fi and I noticed something was up. Once you got back to floor A, you needed us out of the lounge, so you made a noise in the hall to lure us out. Then you ran around and took the long way back to the lounge, so you could enter through the rear door. Wow, that's pretty sneaky stuff. That's pretty cool. Once you were there, you put your suit on again and waited for us. As soon as we found Dio's body, we did exactly what you'd expected. Kay, wake up! Something's happened! You pretend to wake up very disoriented and confused. What is it? Come on, Kay. I'm almost out of time. Did you kill Dio? Yes. And there's our answer. We found Dio's killer, Kay. And it all comes unraveled with, well, finding that Kay's suit is open on Kay's own deathbed, right? And Sigma's deathbed, for that matter. Your reasoning is correct. I... I killed him. The question then is also, why? So many of these timelines, we get to the end, we get a ton of information, which is useful and provides a lot of context, but we still don't understand a lot of the rationale, right? The why certain things happen the way they do. Why? Because I couldn't forgive him. 
Yeah. He took the life of someone very important to me. Yeah, so we had, I think in the rec room with the luminol and stuff, I think this is the timeline where we confirmed that Dio took the life of the old lady. And we had already been suggesting that the old lady was, well, the person who worked on the research with Kay's father figure, right? And we know that from Kay's history, or like background. I couldn't. Who did he kill? The, the old woman. Oh, interesting. Wait, how did... If Sigma didn't already know, which he would have been present for when they sprayed the luminol and everything, K must have deduced that Dio killed her some other time. And I don't know how that happened in this timeline. What? She was like a mother to me. She showed me how to see, how to see meaning in my life. Wait, are you saying, yes, I am. She was the woman who came here when I was 18. Whoa, hold on. What do you mean here? Sigma. Unfortunately, we are out of time. So our initial speculation about the old woman was, was fairly on point. It's not too surprising that she's the old lady from Kay's background. The real question is still why, um, why did Kay, or how did Kay know that the old lady was killed by Dio in this timeline? And then from Sigma's perspective, why did uh, the lady come here in the first place? We know as Kay, from Kay's perspective as a kid, that she came to help out with research and stuff, but we don't really know the details of what role she actually had, right? There's something I have to tell you. I made a promise. That you would hear it. Do you understand? This is very important. You must pay attention. You cannot forget. So here's what's interesting. K either knows that Sigma has access to the morphogenetic field, slash is remembering things across timelines, etc. Or K has been entitled or entrusted with this task by somebody who knows this, right? Forget? He wasn't making sense. I was about to die. How on earth would I be remembering anything for more than a few seconds? If you see a lion with two heads, devouring the sun, remember, remember these letters. So obviously this is referring to the PC in the director's office. Huh, M-I-L-K-E-V-O-L-I. -E and I think that fits the nine characters that we realized before. This will open the second gate. The second gate? What's the first gate? Well, what the heck? Hey! Kay! Who told you to tell me this? No. Who are you? Show me. Show me who you really are. I grabbed a hold of Kay's mask and tore it off. Are we actually gonna get that? Are we gonna see? What? Who are... No, that's... That's impossible. Doesn't that kind of look like Sigma? 
That face. It's... It's my face. What? What? How does K have Sigma's face? So this is obviously a lot to unpack. We know K was created in a somewhat artificial manner. We don't, well, actually, I think I remember that from learning about his background. And so if that was some sort of artificial manner, he was probably made in the likeness of somebody the researcher knew already, right? Which means Sigma probably also has ties to that researcher. Huh, this is, this is so odd. <clears throat> I felt a sharp pain in my left wrist and my body collapsed unceremoniously. What's also really crazy to think about is now we have the added com complexity of K could take off his armor and impersonate slash frame Sigma elsewhere in the warehouse, right? The second drug, tubocurarine. My vision began to blur and my head felt unnaturally heavy. Wow. The world faded away, and my consciousness slipped down into the cold, dark waters of nothingness. <clears throat> and that's presumably the end of this ending. Credits? There we go. <clears throat> wow, what an, what an ending. I like that one a lot. I think it really throws you some, some neat twists. <clears throat> it confirms a couple interesting things, some of which aren't incredibly surprising, right? Some of which were possible, but couldn't really truly be confirmed until we had the information we got in this timeline. And it's also, you know, a real curveball that we don't quite make it in time. We don't get through the door while also giving one of the antidotes to Phi slash K, right? We don't make it in time and end up dying, so we choose one person to live on. So Phi lives on, and we have no idea what happens with that. But then, even in our last moments, we learn so much. We learn the password to the director's office. We learn that Cake killed Dio, and we know exactly how it's done, right? Making sense of some of the events we experienced in the other timelines. And then, we get the ultimate mystery. <laughs> Why does K have Sigma's face? Right? I think, I mean, I already explained my thoughts on a potential rationale for it. Uh, again, it's a little bit cloudy given how long I've been playing this game and how long ago we experienced that background information on K and everything. But dang, that was um, that was a real curveball, and it just goes to show how much more there is to learn about the universe of VLR. There's clearly a lot more to the mystery to unpack, and what's really nice is that we're finally finally at the point where we're just kind of jumping around to the different endings. I feel like we're really hitting the, the meat and bone or meat and potatoes of of the game, right? When we're getting to the endings, we're getting we're finally putting pieces together that are providing a foothold to launch further ahead in other timelines and get that information and things are starting to come together nicely. So yeah that was that was really cool. I like that ending a lot. It was both surprising and incredibly rewarding. And I'm excited to see what other timelines we can address now. Obviously, we can go to the director's office. I don't know if we unlocked any other ones, though. The information we got was helpful, especially from like a big picture perspective. But I don't know if we learned anything that was incredibly crucial to unlocking some of the locks we encountered in other timelines. Aside from the director's office, obviously. So. I think that'll be where we jump next. I'll want to take a look at the flowchart, as I'm sure you guys are curious to see how it's changed in response to this. But I'd imagine this is the, the K ending. Wow, K has Sigma's face. I'm gonna think on that one overnight, <laughs> that's for sure. Huh. Yeah, there's still so much to unpack. All right, yeah, unsurprisingly, the K end. All right, we'll save. Let's take a look at this uh, flow chart. So there's the K end. We obviously have that password. And yeah, it doesn't look like any of the other locks have ended or have unlocked. 
we also don't have a whole lot left, right? On the far left, we have this little branch point that we can now unlock because we have the director's office password, or we at least have the username. We don't even have the password yet, I don't think. Hmm. But on the right-hand side over here, we have this unlocked. Otherwise, we have, you know, this bad end, this bad end, K end, bad end, D O end, and then we have Temio G end, bad end, bad end, lock, bad end, clover end, bad end. So, and then we have some of the bad ends on the other side too. So there really aren't a whole lot more to explore. So we have the username, maybe, maybe the username, maybe the password. I don't remember exactly, but one piece of the puzzle for the director's office, maybe next in the next episode, we'll, we'll check out the director's office pass or um, PC and see if we're able to get through that. If not, well, then we really only have one other choice, don't we? <laughs> so we'll head back over this way which is where we don't have enough of the antiviral medication. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that just as much as I am. Again, we're really kind of getting to the end of the game and things are starting to pick up to arguably the fastest pace they've been throughout the entire playthrough so far. So I'm looking forward to it a ton. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.